Look, the Gravity MP is a good racket, but this thing, phew, this thing is so, so good. When the original Gravity Pro came out, I wasn't doing reviews, so I'm going to enjoy this one. Strap in for a journey because I'm taking my time to let the world know just how good the Gravity Pro 2023 is. Also, please drop us a like and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to put out plenty of content and there's more on the way. And check out the website for some awesome written reviews. The 360 Plus Gravity Pro was an amazing racket, and honestly, this could have been a short review because it's just that but better, but I had one major issue with that racket. Yes, it was stable, powerful, spin friendly, had fantastic feel, great control, but the swing weight was a little bit too high for my abilities and that's why I played with the Tour. I tested four different rackets and they averaged out to 330 swing weight, which finally makes this racket 100% manageable for me all the time. Yes! Now I'm going to sound like a broken record, but the rest of the specs have stayed largely the same. It has a 100 square inch head size, 18 by 20 string pattern, 20 millimeter beam, and 315 gram static weight. What has changed is the introduction of, you guessed it, Auxetic. Who's surprised? Not me. Auxetic does make the frame softer. It flexes at 58 RA strung. Now keep that number in mind because it's a bit of a magical number for the head brand. I strung the Gravity Pro first with RPM rough at 53 pounds, then with Lynx Tour at 49. Let's get into it. I have to start with feel because it's just so good on the Gravity Pro. Don't get me wrong, it was already very good on the 360 Plus, but Head has definitely taken it to another level on this one. Let's be honest for a second. Tennis Purist didn't like the notoriously pingy feel of Graphene, and while it got a lot better with the spiral fibers of 360 Plus, it's been completely eliminated altogether with the introduction of Auxetic Tech on the Gravity Pro. Now remember, Auxetic rackets do have Graphene still. I just think that Head has developed it to a point where that pingy feel is completely overridden by everything else. The feel is one of the most addictive and connected sensations to the ball that I've had in a very long time. And the more I played with this racket, the more it kept reminding me of an old head legend from a long time ago, the Pro Tour 280. There really is something magical about the dwell time and release on the brand new Gravity Pro that is so similar to my 280. It's plush, but the sweet spot is so well-defined and when the ball leaves the string bed, there is this beautiful popping sensation that is so addictive. Here's my theory. 20 millimeter beam, Y-shaped throat, 58 RA, that's Head's magical recipe, and they've hit the nail on the head with the Gravity Pro. Also, I just wanted to mention this before moving on from feel, Auxetic Tech softens up the Gravity Pro, but it doesn't mushin it up like some other softening technologies can do. So I know that in my review of the Gravity MP, I said that maneuverability was its Achilles heel, but I just don't think it's as noticeably negative on the Gravity Pro. Now I say that knowing full well that this racket is both heavier and has a higher swing weight than the MP, but because it has a more headlight balance and a thinner beam, I just find it feels more whippy through the air. Honestly, I do think my logic adds up because when I added a leather grip to the MP when I tested it a few weeks ago, it made the racket more headlight and made it feel more maneuverable. Now I know that sounds counterintuitive, but when you get used to a certain balance, changing that can make the feel a little bit out of whack. Now remember, head has lowered the swing weight on the new Gravity Pro, so it is naturally more maneuverable than its predecessor. That being said, it is still a 100 square inch racket with a teardrop shape, so it's not gonna be the quickest frame out there, but I do think it's noticeably more maneuverable than the previous one, and probably the most maneuverable in the line, at least relative to its weight. Keep in mind, this is a heavy racket with a high swing weight, so you need to know what you're getting yourself into. You can't start wristing it or arming at the ball. You always have to be 100% on top of your game, swinging full, and if you do get lazy with this racket, it could become too much to handle. Personally, I felt a tiny bit of discomfort while I was playtesting the Gravity Pro. Now, I can promise you it has nothing to do with the stiffness of the racket and everything to do with the fact that at times, I would get a little bit wristy and that would put some strain on my tendons. Now it's not the Gravity Pro's fault, but like with any heavy racket, if you do get lazy, that could happen. Honestly, I don't know if the Gravity Pro has any standout redeeming factor, but if it does, it might be the stability. The 360 Plus was incredibly stable. Honestly, the most stable 100 square inch racket out there and it wasn't even close. Now they've lowered the swing weight with this one, but it hasn't lost out on any of that great stability. Now, if you've watched or read any of our head racket reviews recently, you'll know that that's most likely down to the Auxetic Tech. Auxetic has a way of softening the racket up 
but also giving it a little bit of extra pop when the ball releases off the string bed that just naturally makes the racket more solid. When you keep a racket's stability while lowering the swing weight, you've basically made it more user friendly at no expense. But for those of you that like the heftier feel of the previous gravity, add some lead to it, maybe throw on a leather grip, you're just going to make it that much better. To me, honestly, it doesn't need that. I tried it both ways and I preferred it in stock form. I know I just said the stability might be the redeeming factor, but now I'm starting to think it's the control. Oh wait, didn't I just say the feel was amazing? No, I'm lost. I'm going to keep harping on about the seemingly magical control profile of the gravity line because it is that special. Somehow the massive sweet spot that Head has so eloquently marketed feels just as precise and controlled as players' frames with a smaller head size. Don't ask me how. Obviously control was fantastic on the previous 360 plus, but it is just that much better this time around because the racket's softer. You get that little bit of extra dwell time that gives you that ability to almost edit your shot while the ball is being pocketed in the string bed, which I know so many people love. It really is that classic control sensation. It also has an 18 by 20 string pattern. So the launch angle is low, the response is ultra solid, and you never get that slightly wild or unpredictable feel you can get with some 16 by 19s. Those of you who play with 1820s will know exactly what I mean. Of course, what you gain in solidity with an 18x20, you lose out in spin potential. It's not really fair to compare the spin profiles of an 1820 and a 1619. It's just not as spin friendly. So I'm going to compare it to other tighter string patterns. Just know this racket's awesome, but it isn't gonna be more spin friendly than the Pure Arrow. It actually does have one of the most open 18 by 20 string patterns out there, which I really appreciated while I was stringing it, but that does just naturally help it produce a little bit more spin than other 18 by 20s. To get it to really excel at spin generation though, put a slick poly, something like RPM Rough or RPM Blast at a low tension, I really liked 49 pounds, and that will just make the strings snap back on themselves a little bit more than you get with most 1820s. Yes, it's a player's frame, but not many players' frames pack this much of a punch. Why is it so powerful? For one, it's got a 100 square inch head size, but also that teardrop shape concentrates a little bit more weight and sweet spot higher up the racket, so you do just get a little bit more leverage on your shots to power them. Swing as hard as you want with this thing, it will not hold you back. So who is it for? Well, it's no secret that professional players absolutely love the Gravity Pro. And to be honest, in an advanced player's hand, this thing excels in about every metric and is an absolute machine for stability, consistency, solidity, and even to a certain extent, variety. It definitely is a baseline racket at heart, and that's why a guy like Rublev likes it so much, but it has so much potential to be good everywhere else on the court because that feel is so fantastic that it almost feels like a waste to call this a baseliner's frame. Keep in mind, this is a tough racket to use, and honestly, I wouldn't recommend it for anyone intermediate or below, but, it has gotten easier to swing this time around. I'm a solid 4.0 player, sometimes a 4.5. There was a lot of 4.5 during this play test and I was able to swing the new Gravity Pro pretty consistently throughout my play test, whereas the previous one was just a little bit too much racket for me. Honestly, come take out a demo if you've played with the previous version or if you just like insanely good rackets. <laughs> We've got the Gravity Pro available for demo in store or for purchase at racketsandrenders.ca.